that you are here with us today to celebrate this beautiful occasion as Avery and Michael begin their lifelong journey together as husband and wife. In 1 Corinthians 13, beginning in verse 4, it says, Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things, and love never ends. Do you, Michael, take Avery to be your lawfully wedded wife? from this day forward to have and to hold for better, for worse, for richer, or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish till death do you part? I do. 
Michael, please take the ring that you have selected for Avery, and as you place it on her finger, <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Repeat after me. Avery, I give you this ring. Avery, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. I ask you to wear it. I ask you to wear it. As a sign to the world that you are my wife. As a sign to the world that you are my wife. And with this ring. And with this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. We knew that was going to work. <laughs> yeah. And Avery, please take the ring that you have selected for Michael as you place it on his finger and repeat after me. Michael, I give you this ring. Michael, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And I ask you to wear it. And I ask you to wear it. As a sign to the world that you are my husband. As a sign to the world that you are my husband. And with this ring. And with this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. <laughs> there we go. All right. In so much as the two of you have consented together in holy matrimony and have witnessed the same before this company, by authority vested in me as an ordained minister of the gospel of Jesus, I now pronounce you husband and wife. And Michael? You may kiss the bride. I'm so happy in her when they walked out the door. Happy they left my All right, ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Michael King. Yeah.
more than saying I do Kiss you good nights And I love yous Me and you, baby We're walking the footsteps Build our own family One day at a time Ten little toes A painted pink room A beautiful baby Looks just like you And we'll be Just take my hand and I'll be the man your dad hoped that I'd be and we'll build this love from the ground up for worse or for better and I will be Don't need you want the attention but yeah that's all that she's getting her song Hello, everybody. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Daniel. Um, Michael Avery, I just want to first say congratulations. I have known Michael since sixth grade. I used to hold his inhaler every day at football practice, so we have come a long way since me holding your inhaler every day. Sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, high school. We had some great times, stayed a lot of times at your parents' house. We won't talk about what we used to do, but you know, good times. You don't need to know what we used to do, but it's, we had some good times in there. I met Avery my senior year of high school in sports med, and Avery, I have heard your name from Michael probably over a million times. So he does really, really do love you. But I just want to say two things before I give my mic to Jordan. Number one, Michael, Avery is always right. Just take that. Just take it. She's always right. And Avery, I hope that you allow Michael to still have some fun with the boys every now and then. So I hope you guys have a long, lasting, loving marriage. I'm so proud of you guys. I honestly might cry later. I'm not going to cry in front of everybody. I might cry later. But I love you guys. I wish you nothing but the best. And congratulations again. Before I do that, I want to first formally welcome Avery to the family. She's I will, I will congratulate Michael on having great taste. So, and we, we met uh, John and Kim earlier this year, and the first thing I told John, I said, John, you know, Avery's a great girl. We love having her part of the family, but if they ever break up, we're keeping Avery and you get Michael. <laughs> And I would say one thing that, um, about Michael is he's one of the most determined uh, children I've ever seen in my life. Uh, and I think it started, you know, at birth. He's like, I had to fight for, to breathe and to, to live, and he never stopped. And when he was young, there was nothing, nothing that Michael didn't think he could do. And even though his brother was three years older, it didn't matter whether it was skateboarding, snowboarding, wakeboarding, Michael's like, I can do anything that Jordan could do, and he, us and he usually did. I remember one time, and I don't, Michael was probably three or four years old, so Jordan was six or seven, and we're driving around running errands, and Michael, Michael's telling me how to drive. He's been a backseat driver at three years old. Me being the sensitive parent that I am, I turned around and said, Michael, you're three years old. You don't know how to drive. He said, no, but Jordan does. <laughs> so, so I think the, um, the thing that I took away from this is Michael has always had a drive, he's always had a determination, and uh, you know, and he's always succeeded. So I've never worried about his, uh, his ability to make his way in the world. And I will say that the, uh, 
best choice he ever made was the determination to get the best spouse he could get. So, Michael and Avery, we love you. Avery, we're so glad you're in the family, and we wish you many, many happy years. So, everybody raise your glass to a toast to Michael and Avery. So to Michael and Avery, a famous quote that I really like from William Shakespeare. <laughs> It says, the eyes are the gateway to the soul. So Michael and Avery, if you'll hear me, if you'll turn, look each other, look deep into each other's eyes, soak in the moment, look through that window, and most importantly, never forget, you are staring into the eyes of the person statistically most likely to murder you while you sleep. <laughs> On a completely unrelated note, so my best friend Alex is a great criminal defense, so Avery, if you want to talk about it, talk about it. Um, But no, Michael's always looked up to me my whole life, and no, not just because I'm taller at 6'1", um, but because as the older brother, I've always been the first one to do anything, skateboarding, snowboarding, cheerleading, I've always had Michael sitting, waiting at my heels, waiting for me to show me the, waiting for me to show him the way and follow my every move, but for the first time in my life, um, I'm waiting behind him. I'm watching and I'm learning. Oh. No, 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 but uh, seeing what it means to commit to somebody, to devote your life to somebody, to love them, to put their needs before your own, and so to Michael and Avery, congratulations, I love you. Okay, I wasn't gonna do this, but here I am, the courage. Um, my name is Camden, I'm Avery's maid of honor, and that's friend. Um, I've known Avery since we worked together in college, and we became the absolute best friends when she hooked me in to go into on a cruise with her, <laughs> all together. And we've been on many, many trips together, and it's just the best thing ever. And she bought me a suitcase for my wedding so that we could travel more. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to say congratulations. I'm really excited for you guys, and we've been waiting for this day for a very long time. We've talked about this since the day we started working together. And now here we are, a few years later, getting married. So, cheers to Michael and Avery. Make me work, make me sweat inside. Make me feel like I'm alive. Take this hurt, lady, throw it in my face. Don't let these bones slow you down. Cause I'm coming up strong. Grass should I look greener? I need a true believer in disguise. If I'm loving you wrong, short changing and receiving. Girl, you best believe in me behind. Cause I'm oh, oh, over easy tonight. State the truth. Burn it slide Cause I'm coming up 